Okay, more things to go into stock. I, uh, I spoiled a surprise for myself by going online and checking out what was going on in here. So I know, I know what the, I know what the deal is. We are getting a, uh, box with a big bag of LEDs and a bunch of sockets and chips including an STC Micro 350, no, uh, a 12C 5A, which if I remember correctly is 12C 5A 60S2. So yeah, same microcontroller as on the 4x4 um, LED cube that, I forget which hacker box this was in, but it was in one of them. And you know, it's it's nice. It's not bad, you know. If you've ever wanted to make an LED cube, um, it's not a bad place to start. It's pretty reasonable. You just have to, you know, solder up the LEDs properly, you know, jig them up with a little bit of a ruler on a, on a piece of paper. I've had this in the background of videos in the past, but anyways, yeah, so there's that. So yeah, so this kit is actually to build, hmm. oh yeah, here we go, an 8x8 eight eight version of the same thing. So yeah, more soldering. You could probably shake a stick out. But it looks like, um, do we have any LEDs for the corners? No. It just looks like a bunch of log, um, probably shift registers or, yeah, probably shift registers to, and then you have a serial protocol and then you address which shift register you want and then you can um, address which LED that is connected to the outputs of these shift registers. So you have some bit string that will go out and populate these um, and that will form a frame of, of your of your simulation. So you've got your X, you've got your well X, Y, and Z. Sadie, quit knocking the camera. Or something like that. Anyways, we'll have to figure it out. And then that's the microcontroller there. Now we got some hookup wire. We've got a USB power cable to power this thing. We've got an FTDI. Uh, USB to TTL chip and some jumpers, some short jumpers. I don't think I have any short jumpers. Um, forging elite hardware hackers and dark side of the LED. Hmm. Kids won't get that. Well, some kids might. And yeah. Oh, a Nodium MCU. All right, forgot about that. And a string of. Uh, WS80, uh, what are these? Uh, yeah, WS, are they? Whoa, Sadie, easy. Yes, um, V plus ground, D out, DN. So WS, uh, hmm, nice, very nice, very nice. So you've got electrons flowing this way, holes flowing that way. Sorry, my ma'am. They've got the uh, polarity reversed um, to have the electrons flowing that way. So yes, um, holes migrate this way, electrons migrate that way, um, but you can't get things going in the uh, you can't get things going in the opposite direction. And so that's the diode portion. And as holes, these represent a potential energy and when those holes valence positions inside of the molecule get filled then um, the electron releases a quanta of light energy so they will drop down through here and then when you push current the other way it reforms this conductive band so you have to provide enough current flowing through this direction to move electrons up out of their valence spots, out of the holes, and then they will recombine. And that's what releases the, uh, the light. So yeah, 
basically a diode. No, not basically a diode. It is a diode. And that's uh, a nice little diagram, actually, to think about how diodes work. And to think about P and type junctions and how holes, which are valence positions in a uh, orbital of, uh, of, the, of the material that you're talking about, and electrons, which are f in outer orbitals of an atom, will migrate across that PN junction. So yeah, nice, nice little diagram. So um, yeah, a strip of LEDs, a node MCU to um, power them or to do something with them. Um, hmm, yeah. So, well, I, my I was trying to build a um, a warning a warning strip of LEDs so that when you have because my my niece is living in a um, in a basement suite and the ceilings are quite low and she's and she's tall so what we need is a way of alerting someone that hey low clearance but why not make it party mode rest of the time so it can you know do sequences of colors or can pulse to music or something like that but then when somebody gets too close through some sort of a proximity sensor I'll, um, ultrasound or something like that it will um, start flashing red. So, not completely useless as a project, but um, it, uh, it's definitely a way of making use of this little box, which, you know, it's not the, uh, it's not the box that stretches your creativity the most, that's for sure. There are there were other boxes that um, definitely gave you a uh, a challenging time of of some investigation, but the um, this thing, which is um, good for uh, programming um, uh, serial programming, could be used to reprogram this ST. Uh, C microcontroller, and well, knowing more microcontrollers is good in general. Uh, those um, microcontrollers, the STC ones, I the only places that I've actually seen them used are in really inexpensive um, uh, toys from China. So, um, what that means is you get some experience in actually reprogramming cheap toys from China. So, if we wanted to try and hack into well, gosh, who knows what, but we could probably do that um, once we've got a sense of how to program an STC and then figure out which pins so you know where to look in terms of um, how am I going to find a programming header on a cheap toy. Probably didn't put a programming header in there, so we might have to solder directly to pins, but you get the idea. We can probably um, um, use that knowledge to, um, once we've figured out how to program these things and you know, program a few patterns on there, get a good sense of um, how to hack into anything that's got an SDC microcontroller. So yeah, like I said, not the um, most uh, exciting box for me, but I can totally see somebody who's just getting into this whole thing, seeing that box of bag of LEDs and having had lusted over a uh, an LED cube and wanting to make one, and uh, yeah, Half a thou worth of LEDs. Sure, half a thou. Let's get the um, the youngins working on that because their manual dexterity is much better, after all. I mean, for centuries people have been putting kids into manual labor positions like like that. I mean, it still happens today, doesn't it? Man, I hope I was recording that. Nice little collection. Um, I'm sure I can put a lot of it to fairly good use. And uh, me and my daughter will probably have fun soldering that thing up. All right. Well, probably not going to do a any uh, second parts to this. Maybe I will. 
But in any event, um, I hope you enjoy putting that together. And um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.